الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم ولا فهم لنا إلا ما فهمتنا إنك أنت الجواد الكريم We're going to talk inshallah about six little animals that Allah Ta'ala is mentioning in the Quran to think about uh, So the first one is the fly What does Allah Ta'ala say about the fly? يا أيها الناس ضرب مثلا فاستمعوا له إن الذين تدعون من دون الله لا يخلقون شيئا ولو اجتمعوا له لن يخلقوا ذبابا ولو اجتمعوا له الله تعالى says oh people an example has been given listen to it those who are asking calling besides Allah تعالى cannot create a fly even if they gather to do it Allah تعالى has defied all the creatures by a fly he says all the things you are calling this is for the idol worshippers they are the, they are worshipping idols and the last telling them these idols you are worshipping these statues you are worshipping they cannot make a fly why do you worship them but that is that is also uh, that is also valid for anything you are calling uh, anything anybody you are hoping to solve your problems anybody you are fearing because he's very powerful anybody you consider he's strong he has he can do many things in this world. Any power, any science, any knowledge. Allah Ta'ala says that they can't even, they can't create a fly. They can't create a fly. Just look at yourself. How are you? How are you fearing these people? How are you hoping these people? How are you being attached to these people? How, what is this great place these people have in your heart? Whereas they can't even create a fly. Huh? And you're forgetting Allah Ta'ala? Who has created skies and earth, who has created yourself, who has created everything. You're forgetting his power, you're forgetting the power that Allah has put in the sun, that Allah has put in the sky, it's put in earth, put in water, put in wind. Huh? The power of Allah, the Lord, the Lord. And you are afraid of these creatures that cannot even make a fly. It is easy to say, brothers, but think if one day you are stopped by a policeman and you start shivering and you say, ah, he's gonna, he's gonna get me in trouble. Or if one day you're in court in front of a judge, not talking about wars, not talking about armies, not talking about bombs. Huh? If one day you need money and you think, who, who can help me out? Oh yes, I have my uncle or my this, he's got lots of money, he can help me out. Just look how your heart is attached to that thing. How much that thing waits in your heart. And then think that those creatures cannot create a fly. They cannot do a fly. They're just poor, weak creatures. And you're forgetting the one who has created everything. You can do everything. You, you're forgetting him. Where is his place in your heart? As one Salihin, one pious man said, if you want to know your value in the eyes of Allah, just look at the value of Allah in, in your heart. Just see what, what Allah calls for in your heart. And you know, you'll see. Then Allah Ta'ala says, When يَسْلُقُهُمُ الْذُبَابُ شَيْئًا لَا يَسْتَعْبِدُوهُ مِنْ And if the fly will take something of them, they cannot have it back. If a fly comes on someone's plate and takes a very small piece of his food, he cannot take that food back. Uh, or if a mosquito, a mosquito pick, pick, bites someone and takes a bit of his blood, he will not get that, that blood back. ضَعْفَ الطَّالِبُ الْمَطْلُوبُ They are so weak. Uh, both of them, the... The fly is weak and they are weak because the fly has beaten them. Uh, these people, <laughs> you, are, you think they are great. A fly has beaten them. A fly took his food, he cannot have it back. Uh, he cannot beat a fly. SubhanAllah. Uh, so Allah has given us this example, brothers, so that each time you see a fly, when you see flies going by, you must think of the greatness of Allah. That is a sign Allah has put. Allah has put in front of us. So each time you see the flies, think of all the creatures. How is their power? What is their capacity? They cannot make a fly. If fly can beat them. If fly can beat them. Huh? If the fly takes his food, he will not have it back. This is their weakness. Allah has showed. This is the first example. So what am I saying? Is that these examples of Quran are made to change our mind, to change our way of thinking, of considering things. And Allah has put these signs, these signs in this world, so that we remember. Will not be, uh, as Allah Ta'ala said, mm. Those who are unconscious of our signs. You see the signs of Allah Ta'ala, you don't react. 
as if you didn't see anything. You see sky, you see earth, you see sun, you see uh, all these creatures, Allah is describing the Qur'an. And Allah is describing His power and His greatness through his, these creatures. But you see that, you don't feel anything. But if you go and you see some money uh, that, is, uh, that has been lost on the ground, your heart will start shaking and you will be so happy, yeah, I got money, isn't it? But if you have a lot of money in your pocket and you just put your hand, you don't find that money, Allahu Akbar, how will your heart go? You see? So you react immediately, you react immediately on that. Uh, you, you immediately react on that. But seeing the greatness, the signs that Allah is showing us, no reaction. May Allah Ta'ala have pity on us. So the purpose of this is that you must train yourself every time you see the to think of the greatness and the power of Allah Ta'ala. Second animal, small, these six small animals, the second one is the spider. What does Allah Ta'ala say about the spider? مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَا كَمَثَلِ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ اتَّخَذَتْ بَيْتَ The example of those who have taken allies instead of Allah Ta'ala are like that the spider that has taken a house, uh, that has taken a cobweb. That is, the people who have taken allies and protectors beside Allah Ta'ala. In this surah spider, Allah Ta'ala has mentioned all the people he has destroyed in Quran. All the people he has destroyed, people of uh, Ibrahim salam, people of Lut, people of Ad, of Thamud, people of Fir'aun, and people of Shu'aib. All of them. Allah has listed them. And Allah has shown how He has destroyed them in many different ways. To come to a conclusion, all those who have taken protectors and allies uh, beside Allah, they are like a spider. It's like a cowboy. It has no power at all. It has no nothing solid into it. Nothing solid. You know, the, this surat spider is the last surat that has been revealed in Mecca before Hijrah. That means it was in the worst situation Sahaba were living in Mecca. So much torture, uh, so much hardship, and so much difficulty. And in that situation, Allah is telling them, these people that are torturing you, that are doing all this to you, they are nothing. They are nothing. Don't think that, oh, this power is so strong, oh, we are so small, we are so weak, uh, we are being squashed by this power, how can we overcome it? Allah is saying, no, that power is a cobweb. That power, that is, that's a cobweb. Uh, what is, where is the real strength? Allah says in this surah at the beginning, uh, do people think we're going to leave them, say we are a believer, without uh, testing them? That is the point. Uh, Allah wants to see that you are believers. Allah wants to see how pure your faith is. Allah wants your faith to be pure. And those people are just a test from Allah. But what Allah wants is your Iman to be pure. And then everything will change. Allah will change things. When your Iman will be pure, you will see the power of Allah operating. As Allah says, It is our duty to help the believers. So, those are just cobweb. Okay? So, this is the spider. This is the example of the spider. And so that each one should think, What am I relying on? Am I relying on my money, on my boss, on my ID card, on my what am I relying on? on my life, on whose power, where is my security, uh, what is giving me security, what is giving me stability in my life, is it all these material things that are surrounding me, or am I relying on Allah? Am I relying on Allah to live on halal, to live on Allah's commandments, to do what Allah is wanting to me to do, and that is my, that is what I rely on, <coughs> on Allah Taala, Or am I relying on all those things that all together are a cowboy, nothing. So that is the example of the spider. So that brothers, you see, you get spiders and cobwebs nearly in all the houses. So whenever you see the cobweb, remember what Allah said about it. Look at the power of all those who are relying on something else than Allah. All those who think that other than Allah will solve their problems, will help them out, etc. The third example, Allah Ta'ala tells us about uh, 
about the mosquito. What does Allah Ta'ala say about the mosquito? Inna Allah la yistahi man yadriba mathalan ma ba'udatan fa min fawqah. Allah is not shy to give as example anything, would it be a mosquito or more than that? So what does that mean about the mosquito? That means that the mosquito is not much, it's a very small thing, it's not an important thing. What is less important, less valuable than a mosquito? Do you know? What is less valuable than a mosquito? Rasulullah said, لو كانت الدنيا تعدل عند الله جناح بعوضة ما سقى منها كافرا شربة ما If this word was worth in the eyes of Allah, the wing of a mosquito, he would not have given one kafir, one, uh, one uh, not a glass of water, one drink of water. He would not give one drink of water to one kafir. If this whole life, if this whole world was worth in the eyes of Allah, what is a wing of a mosquito worth to us? How much does a wing of a mosquito is worth to us? Now, what does a wing of a mosquito count for you? If this world counted for Allah that much, he would not have given one drink of water to one kafir. So Allah has given everything to kafirs. That means that this world is worth in the eyes of Allah much, 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 much less than the wind of a mosquito. You see? So, what does the mosquito mean? When you see the mosquito, remember the value of dunya. If you can, like I do, alhamdulillah, since I'm young, I train myself to chase mosquito, to catch mosquito. So if you can catch a mosquito, take that wing and look at the dunya. This is the dunya everybody's running after, fighting for, making wars, looking for petrol, looking for this, uh, looking for contracts, making, mashallah, research uh, to make new products. To get what? A small piece of this wing of mosquito. Mashallah. Look at the dunya. Everybody is running after it. Uh, forgetting Allah, disobeying to Allah, committing terrible sins for this wing of mosquito. This is the third example. The fourth example, uh, what is the fourth example? Is the bee. What does Allah Ta'ala say about the bee? MashaAllah, we all know. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بُطُونِهَا شَرَابٌ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهُ فِيهِ شِفَاءُ لِلنَّاسِ The honey comes out of its of its stomach, of its tummy, now, that has a remedy for people. What I want to say, Allah Ta'ala has made a bee, and I'm, got, I'm not even going to give you a course about how the bees work, but Allah Ta'ala says, وَأَوْحَى رَبُّكَ إِلَى النَّحْلِ And your Lord has revealed to the bee how to live, how to do, how to organize itself, and how to produce money. It is Allah's inspiration, of course, the bee did not find that by itself. Allah has done it that way. So what I want to say is the technology of Allah Taala. Look at this technology. This small thing, a bee, very small thing. How much technology, uh, min, min, miniaturized, huh? miniature technology and this small bee producing honey. So, mashallah, human people have made so many technology things, isn't it? Uh, is there any small thing man has made Small like a bee, uh, that can produce something, that can produce something, you see? A concentrated technology of Allah So when you see the bee, maybe you don't see the bees, well, maybe you see honey. Maybe you get to see honey, to eat honey. So when you see honey, remember, look at the technology of Allah Look what Allah has created, the small bee producing this honey, subhanAllah. Uh, and if you can get, if you have time, uh, take a book or make some research on the internet. Look, take time to look at the detail of it, how the sun is produced and how the bees, how the bees live, because it is mashallah amazing. It is mashallah amazing to get in the detail of it, in all details. Uh, so what am I saying? When you see the honey, when you see the bee, look at Allah's technology, and you will feel that what man has produced is very weak very very weak uh, and has so much has so many uh, uh, so many bad aspects 
Uh, so many bad aspects. It makes pollution, it makes noise, it's uh, uh, taking petrol, it's uh, all this, and it gets its breaks. It have to produce it again, and there's competition, and there's false ones. You get false things uh, that are not uh, uh, that are not original, etc. But we don't get all these problems in Allah's technology. It is clean, it is pure, it is beautiful, mashallah. And it is, uh, it's going on its own and you can multiply it. And subhanallah, look at it, it's in every country in the world, isn't it? Uh, wherever you go in the world, you can find honey. It is universal, universal technology, mashallah. And the fifth example is ants. What does Allah Ta'ala say about the ant? حَتَّى إِذَا أَتَوْا عَلَى وَادِ النَّمْلِ قَالَتْ نَمْلُ تَنْيَا أَيْهَا النَّمْلُ ادْخُلُوا مَسَاكِنَكُمْ لَا يَحْتِمَنَّكُمْ سُلَيْمَانُ وَجُمُودُهُ وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ When Sulaiman and his army got to the ant valley, one ant said to the others, Go into your houses so that Sulaiman and his army will not crush you without knowing. MashaAllah. Huh? MashaAllah. Ants communication. Ants speaking to each other. Uh, we all animals communicate because that is necessary in life. All animals communicate. If you, uh, if they need to have children, they need to populate. If they, they want to fight, if they, it is necessary to communicate. But and ants also must communicate. How? I mean, if an ant will find some food, you need to get to tell the others. I have found so much food, such place, so they will come all together, isn't it? If you put some food, if an ant, if an ant finds it. She would go back and bring uh, enough people, to uh, enough ants, to get that food. So communication is necessary uh, in all living beings. Even trees uh, have been found to communicate. Uh, have, even trees have been found to communicate. <coughs> I'm going to go to that detail. Anyway, uh, ants communicate. But can you imagine, just think, can you imagine that ants can communicate such detailed things? Do ants, can ants say all that? Oh ants, go to your house. Okay, there's a danger coming, everybody run away. That's, that's okay. So that Suleiman and his army will not crush you. Do the ants know Suleiman? Did you think about this? Do the ants know Suleiman? And also giving them excuses that Suleiman is a good person. He's not a naughty person, he did not come to kill us, but they're just passing there, they can crush us. So we must run away, mashallah. I'm not blaming Sulaiman, just, but that's a fact, if they're passing by, they can crush us. How? Do ants know Sulaiman? Now I'm going to give you a question. Who can tell me, when does the ant make dua for him? Does someone know? Do you know? When does the ant pray for you? Make dua for you. You don't know? Someone knows? La hawla la quwwata illa billah. Rasulullah s.a.w. said, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu wa ahla al-samawati wal ard hatta al-namlata fi juhriha wa hatta al-hoota fi al-bahar la yusalluna ala mu'allim al-nas al-khayr. Allah and his angels and the inhabitants of skies and earth even the ant in its, uh, in its hole and even the fish in the sea pray for the one who teaches good to people. Hmm? When you teach good to people, when you teach religion to people, what happens? People will follow religion, will do better actions, they will leave sins. And what happens? So the punishment of Allah will be lifted out of dunya, will, be, uh, will go away, and the rahmah, the mercy of Allah will come on dunya, and all the creatures will be benefiting from that mercy and living in peace, and living in happiness. And those creatures, they know that this Rahmah is coming because of the good deeds of people. And they know that these good deeds are coming because such and such person are preaching Islam. And they pray for Ya Allah, this man, thanks to him, all this Rahmah has come. Now uh, the flooding has gone away. Now the uh, earthquakes have gone away. All those problems have gone away because this man was preaching people and people come back to deen. Ya Allah help him, accept him, give him your mercy and they pray for you. That is when the ants pray for you. You see? So the ants, mashallah, in this 
verse of Quran, in this example of ants, Allah Taala has lifted a veil on another, on um, on a ghaib, on an unseen thing, uh, which is the reality and the worship of creatures. All these creatures worship Allah Taala, are submitted and worship Allah Taala, and this worship, can we see it? Allah Taala tells us about this worship when Allah says, "When Najm wa Shajaru yastudan." The star and the tree are making sujood. Okay, the star and the tree are making sujood. But in another verse, Allah Ta'ala says, أَلَمْ تَرَعْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْجُدُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ Don't you see that Allah Ta'ala, everything in sky and earth is making sujood to Him. And the sun, and the moon, and the stars, and the mountains, and the trees, and the animals, and the beasts and many of men. In this verse, Allah is telling us, don't you see? Don't you see? What does that mean? That means we can see it. How can we see it? How can we see the stars making sujood, the trees making sujood, uh, the animals making sujood? How can we see it? So, if you want to see it, you have to look at it. That means you have to look and meditate. Look at the tree and think, Ya Allah, how is this tree making sujood? Huh? Make some dhikr. Ask Allah wa ta'ala. Make some meditation. And then you'll see. Inshallah you'll see. But if you don't look, if you don't search, how can you see? You don't even think about it. You didn't you don't, not even realize it, that this tree in front of the house is making sujood to Allah. The sujood and the tasbih. Huh? Salatahu wa tasbihah. Each one knows his prayer and his tasbih. And in another verse, Allah Ta'ala says, Alam tara anna Allah yusabbihu lahu man fi samawati wa man fi al-ard. Don't you see that Allah, everything in skies and earth, is making tasbih to him? The tasbih and the sujood. They're all making. And all the creatures know human beings. They know us. They know the good one and the sinner. Why? Because the good actions you are making, they are bringing mercy, rahmah, on all creatures. And the bad actions you do, may Allah Ta'ala protect us from disobeying Him. And the bad actions you do, they bring curse and punishment on all creatures. And Allah Ta'ala says, for Fir'aun and his army, فَمَا بَكَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّمَاءُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْضَرِينَ Sky and earth did not cry for them. Sky and earth did not cry for them when they died. Uh, that means the sky and earth cry for the believer. Uh, when the believer dies, the earth says, Ya Allah, where is all this sujood? Where are all these uh, footsteps going to mosque? Where is all these good actions? It has all gone. This, uh, this man has died and this earth is crying for him. And the sky is crying for you. The sky says, Ya Allah, where are all these good actions that you're passing by every day? Huh? Making sadaqah, reading Quran, visiting uh, ill people. All these good actions have stopped. This man is dead. And the sky is crying for you. And if it is an evil man that dies, the earth will say, Alhamdulillah, so many sins, such so terrible man. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. Now he's gone. We are, uh, uh, how do you say? We're relieved. Oof, we're relieved of that guy. Sky also. So, Allah has lifted us the veil on this light that is around us. But how to reach it and to live it? You must meditate on it. Meditate on it. First, when you read Quran, notice what is Allah telling us. Don't you see that this is making sujood? Huh? I've never seen that before. Let's take a look at it. Huh? Let's think about it. Let's meditate. Inshallah, Allah will show you how it works, how it functions. Huh? Think about it. And this is the example of the ant. Allah has given us the example of the ant. So every time you see ants, think. Allah has shown us through the ant, shown us a big piece of the ghaib that is around us. These ants know you and pray for you when you are teaching, 
good to people. So that is how much you said the example of the fly, the example of the spider, the example of mosquito, the example of bee, and the example of the ant. And the sixth one is the example of uh, cockroach. Yeah, cockroach. Okay, what does Allah say about cockroach? Who can give me the verse? MashaAllah, Imam Sahib wrote that yesterday. Yawma yakunu nasu kel farash al The day people will be like cockroach that is scattered, like scattered cockroach. Huh? Yeah. No, no, what am I saying? Sorry about that. I got it wrong. Butterfly. Butterflies. Butterfly, yeah. Butterfly. Like scattered butterfly. Yeah. There's another verse with cockroach. But uh, I meant butterfly. Uh, stuff for Allah. A man is weak. Uh, so, when the day people will be like scattered butterfly. What does that mean? Look at a butterfly. How does a butterfly fly? You don't see a butterfly flying in a straight direction. You see them go right, left, right, left, right, left, scattered. They don't have a straight flight, isn't it? Never seen? Well, take a look at it. <laughs> they don't have a straight flight. They're, they go right, left, right, left, right, left. Even if he's going somewhere, he has to go right, left, right, left until he reaches there. This is when, this is when Allah Taala orders Israfil to blow the horn. And the people hear, the people hear that noise. And you know, brothers and sisters, we cannot imagine what that noise is. We cannot imagine what that noise is. But once one brother told me that he was in Pakistan when that earthquake happened. And he felt the, he heard the noise of the earthquake. Well, can you imagine the noise of the earth getting torn? Huh? The earthquake is happening under his feet. And that noise of the earth getting torn. I mean, we can't imagine it. We can't imagine what kind of noise that will make. You see? He says, that's a noise that's, that's taking, he was telling me, that noise is taking all your body, making your, it feels your, your molecules shivering. You see, it's making your body shake. I mean, in a way, you can't imagine that noise. So that's an earthquake. So what about the world quake? Uh, the end of the world. So when people hear that noise, it is al-faza, al-faza, the fear. People fear and start running in all directions. You, you hear that noise, you want to run away of the building. You go outside, the noise is the same. And the noise is getting worse. So now you run back to the building. So now you say, no, I'm going here. I'm going to get my wife and children. Then you say, no, it's too late. I can't. I have to just save myself. And people run with nowhere to run to. No place to hide in. No place to find security. They just don't know where to go. That is the image of when, when the angel will blow and people will, run, will be running like a like butterfly. People will be running like a butterfly. In another verse Allah Ta'ala says, وَإِذَا الْعِشَارُ عَطِلَتْ And when the uh, camels that have 10 month pregnancy that are about to give birth, that is what Arabs had most precious goods will be left. So people will leave their shops, will leave everything. Ah. They could not make wasiya. Ah, please take care of my shop. Ah, please, uh, can you close it? Ah. They cannot come back to their family to check or to do something. They will be taken right away. And that noise gets stronger and stronger until Everybody dies. Their hearts will explode in their chests. And the noise gets stronger and stronger until the oceans light in fire. And it gets the noise gets stronger and the oceans explode. And the noise gets stronger and the mountains turn into cotton. Mountains become like cotton. Ah, look at these two verses. <coughs> the day people will be like 
scattered butterflies and the mountains of Milan cotton. By the time the mountains be like cotton, what will, what will our body be? If the rock has become cotton, what do you think your bones and your brains and your flesh has become? It's already finished. Between these two verses, all the living creatures have died. And then the noise gets stronger and, uh, and the mountains become like dust. And then the noise gets stronger and the earth is torn and the stars scatter. And Allah Ta'ala, Yawmanatu is Sama'a Katayi Sijilin in Kitab, will fall back this world like a book, not a book we know, like the old books that you open and if you let it go, it will fall back in. And this, after the big bang, will come the big crunch, all crunch back. And then Allah Ta'ala asks, asks Azrael, who is left now? He says, Ya Allah, there's me and you, and Israfil, and Jibreel, and Mikael. And Allah tells him, take the, uh, take the south of, Azra, of Mikael, Israfil, and Jibreel. And he takes their south. And Allah tells him, who's left now? He says, Ya Allah, it's me and you. And Allah would say, tell him, take your own south. And Azrael will kill himself. Then Allah says, Limani mulk al To who is the mulk of the kingdom today? Where are the kings of dunya? Where are the people who said they are strong, they are big, they are this and that? Lillahi al-wahid al-tahar. It's the kingdom only for Allah. So this is the example of butterfly. So that brothers, every time you see butterfly, remember the day, the end of this world. How this world is going to end and how people are going to be. So these are six small animals that to meditate on so that every time you see those you think and remember the signs that Allah Ta'ala has put in it. May Allah Ta'ala accept us and Allah Ta'ala help us to live on Quran and to understand Quran. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha ilaha ta nastaghfiru wa natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil azzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.